All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. How's everybody doing? Um, it is December 12th, 2017. Yeah, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, Resident Evil 7 released at the end of January 2017. Almost a full year later, they finally released two of the DLCs that they promised us were going to be out, like, not even halfway through the year. Pretty crazy, right? We've got Not a Hero, which is the Chris Redfield story that we were all wondering, well, how... You know, how does Chris tie in? How did Chris become part of Umbrella? What's going on with Chris Redfield after the end of Resident Evil 7? It was never explained. We were told, oh, this free DLC would be coming out. Um, so finally was released today. In addition, the end of Zoe or Zoe. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it. I don't remember. But it says this one actually takes place weeks after Not a Hero. See that? So what we're going to do, we're going to play them in order. We're going to check out the Chris Redfield DLC Not a Hero. And then we're going to do this one. And we're going to see exactly how it goes. All right? Sound good? Alright, so shout out to Weapon J who did a 10 bit cheer. He says, Am I gonna be playing PSVR ever again? I don't know. There actually has to be a game I want to play on it, and right now there's none. Danny Hikari uh, did a love of a cheer. He says that my streams are super laggy and choppy and buffering nonstop. Well, maybe you should try a new browser. I've personally been having a lot of problems with certain browsers recently. You've switched to other ones and it works fine. Uh, and Black Mage T-Type did a 100 bit cheer, and he said, RE7 DLC hype. I can't wait to see how Chris's TLC ties into the, the story. Whoa! And, fa whoa, Fallen1570 just did a whopping 10,000-bit cheer with a spinning, crazy-ass Kappa emo. And it says, Chris Redfield hype. Congrats on the girlfriend. Keep being positive and laugh. Hashtag charity. Hashtag DS positive. Thank you very much, Fallen, for the giant bit bomb you have dropped on tonight's stream. I appreciate that. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Not a hero. Let's see how Chris Redfield ties into this. I think we're all very interested to find out, right? How the hell did he start working for Umbrella? Because what a twist when he shows up at the end of the main game on an Umbrella chopper, right? It's like, uh, huh? Also, where did he go to get that amazing plastic surgery to make him completely change his physical looks? That's what I want to know. All right, here we go. So, we'll quit, obviously. Now, all right, new game. Normal difficulty. <clears throat> Operation Lurking Fear. Chris Redfield is a high-profile BSAA member who has resolved many a bioterrorism crisis over his lengthy career. Now the new Umbrella, reborn as a PMC, has asked for his assistance. Fucking company. Is it ready? Can we begin? Nah. Thank you, Fallen, for another 100 bits here. This is the fall of, fall of bits has arrived. I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, is this the end? This is, yeah, this is the end of Resident Evil 7. Yeah, look. Chris, did we lose him? No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. Adjusting my uh, volume here. Is the game really low for everyone? It was real low for me. I had to up my headphones. Yeah, it sounds low, right? I'm going to up the game volume. There we go. So what I'm guessing is Chris is going to go into the underground research facility that we went into at the very end of the Resident Evil 7. The new umbrella. All right, I'm in the mine. Ah, now it's too loud. Stay strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact, but apparently Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. Huh? How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their oh, good. My, my cell went out. That should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. Yep, my fucking sound went out. So once again, my PS4 is a piece of shit. I gotta go unplug and replug my audio cable in. Fucking garbage. <clears throat> Thanks, Sony, for fucking it up.
I've owned this PS4 for how many years? It's a launch PS4. Never had a problem with it until Sony patched it. And uh, whatever patch they did last, the console patch, completely screwed up my audio, my optical out audio. And now it randomly glitches. So, great. Anyway, here we are. Yeah, we are. So we're in the, the basement research facility. And as they just said, Lucas Baker, one of the Baker family, apparently was doing all kinds of shit down here. Now we're coming to find out exactly what he was up to. All right, well. Hey, Chris, did you bring a flashlight with you? Or are you just really stupid? Guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Going back down into the underground. Well, this is a pretty powerful handgun, huh? He says you can punch enemies when they stagger. How do I punch? How? What button? He didn't explain it. Ugh. He's writhing. Writhing around. Anything down here? It looks like a dead end. Chris, you can't jump. Nope. Another dead end. That's where I came from. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, shit. What the shit? Okay. What the fuck? He's flopping around. He's not dead yet. He had no fucking arms. <laughs> the dude had no arms. He's still flopping around. <laughs> Come here, I'll nub ya. I'll nub ya to death. Okay, the lab then. is just ahead. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type butamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. Nothing here, nope. Again, Chris, no flashlight, dude. You never learned from all the games you've been in that you need a flashlight? Dead end too. What the fuck? Where do I go? Uh. Oh wait, there's another cave over here. The other way. Okay. Oh, I hear something. Yup, this is where we were in the rain game. I remember. We went through this tunnel. At that point, there were all kinds of items and shit everywhere. There's nothing here for Chris, though. Nope. Oh, shit. Ignore him and look some stuff on the internet here. What's the latest trending topics on Twitter? Look them up. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh, shit. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's Lucas. <laughs> now, you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and... Lucas! Uh... No! Oh! oh. <laughs> now, here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I don't bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh, the same goes for your little soldier friends, too. Adios. Move, chachos. <laughs> fuck. No, what the fuck? 
Data again. Your oxygen tank is at 50. Looks like you're clear of any contamination. You should head back and get that bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. Oh shit. One bullet and then punch his ass to the Chris Redfield super punch. Chris, we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought the son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? No. Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. I know it must be difficult. And to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we were incorporated as a PMC. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure. Whatever. So, Chris is very skeptical about working for Umbrella, which makes sense. It's more canon. Okay, where are we now? We haven't been here yet, right? No, this is a new area, so... Okay. <laughs>